English language teaching has the same challenges the world over. This series focuses on teaching speaking. Who's the volunteer to present your dialogue? We've come to Thailand to see how teachers here use feedback and we'll have expert tips from teacher trainer John Kay. It's important to have a plan for feedback. Is it going to be teacher-led or is it going to be student-led? No matter who leads the feedback, it's crucial that they are heard and seen. Also, keep it snappy. Don't let it drag on. When monitoring constructively, you've noticed a few things which you would like to point out to the students in feedback. An option here is to write these sentences on the board before the activity finishes so you can refer to them at the end of the activity. Good sentences, things that the students have done particularly well, or they could be things that the students have made mistakes with. Which one is correct? If I were you... And in feedback, the students can discuss these sentences in groups and then they're correcting each other's work. This extends the fluency activity. It gives them a real task to talk about. Okay, finished? A or B? A. A. Very good. So what have you learned from your friend's mistake? She is wearing a pink dress, white socks and a white shoes. And white shoes. Okay, next. He Think about how much time you want to spend on feedback. Is it necessary to have your students performing in front of the class every time? If it makes them more enthusiastic for English, then fine. Yesterday, I asked you to bring some clothes with you. If you do have primary school students who really do want to get up and perform and show how well they can do the task, maybe you can change the task a little bit. For example, if you have present continuous, I give you one minute outside. And maybe you could have a, a different context, maybe a fashion show where one of the students can say, John's wearing a yellow shirt and brown trousers. So you're actually right. using the ready, language ready, that ready, they've been practicing, okay. but you're using it in a different context, thus keeping the, the spontaneity and the fluency alive. Today, you are wearing blue t-shirt, blue jeans. And why should very good. Anyone else want to try here? Okay, your solution. In secondary yeah, schools, of course, the students may resent Sydney. having to perform in front of their the peers. Park can show your feelings, and he's your cross. They have a lot of face to lose. They're going through changes in their okay, life. What do I do? The same or different? Okay. If I were you. I would go to the manager. You can reactivate interest here by losing the inhibitions yourself and leading by example. Exaggerating the sounds, exaggerating the acting, exaggerating the faces. Girl. Okay, go to the manager. I want my money back. Okay. What went well? What was the most difficult thing that you have found? And how we can improve, we mean you and I, can improve the lesson? Maybe the okay. students can feed back on their own activity and the teacher this takes a back seat. Give it gives the teacher another opportunity to listen, but it also makes the students feel more autonomy. It's their Silly lesson. Yes. Sure, you can speak. Yes, come out, both of you. Maybe you've invited some of the group members to do the monitoring on your behalf. It's a good idea in feedback to ask them to contribute to the class. Also, if you've noticed anything uh, that was particularly good, invite those students to, to perform it. Uh, don't just ask for any old volunteers. Um, invite particular people. I forgot my homework at home. I have to hand it in today. If you can go back to get it, tell the teacher you forgot. Okay, thanks. Okay. Don't just focus everything through the teacher or the student standing at the front of the class. Do you think cell phones are useful? What would you say? Maybe if it's a debate, why not give the students badges with happy smiling faces for the people who agree with the motion? If you agree, you draw a smile. And not smiling faces for the students who don't agree with the motion. Okay. Which side are you? Agree with mobile phone are useful. Maybe the people who agree with what was said move to one side of the classroom. The people who disagree move to the other side of the classroom. To talk about what you believe. This makes it more physical and it involves everybody in the feedback. Are mobile phones useful? No. Oh, good. Surprise. 
All right, good. If the focus of the lesson has been accuracy, why not finish with another drill? Give the students a further chance to practice the target language in a controlled way. Not only does it give them further chance to practice, but something to take away from the lesson. Wow.